Now, we are ready to hear from our participant speakers. Um, our first speaker today is a current TRIO Talent Search program participant. Talent Search works with pre-college students starting in the sixth grade to encourage and support students to be successful throughout middle and high school and to enter and complete some type of college degree program. Today, representing the Talent Search program is Jade Baker from Marshall County Central High School. Jay Baker and I'm an eighth grader from Marshall County Central. I'm 14 years old. My favorite school subject is geography. I have been a member of Talent Search for two and a half years since sixth grade. Trio has been a great influence on me and has provided me with a lot of a lot of <clears throat> a lot over the last couple of years. Everything from in-class instruction in study skills, finances, and self-care to field trips over the summer program. The TRIO program has helped me realize that college is not only possible for someone like me, but also within reach. I am thinking about majoring in engineering, business, or art. When I grow up, I want to own my own business. Who knows? I'm an eighth grader. I've got time to figure this out. <laughs> I sh the Shoot for the Stars program has been my favorite part of TRIO. I joined because of my advisor, Andy, made it sound like a lot of fun. We've, we have weekly meetings where we do all sorts of fun activities, from building bridges out of computer paper and learning how to knit. We also have gone on many field trips to computer, oh, we've also gone on many field trips to local museums and the Cooperstown Nuclear Missile Command. We are also lucky enough to be, I was also lucky enough to be selected to participate in the summer program last summer. Don and Josh took us to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We started off the week at staying in UND for a couple of days. Then after getting to Milwaukee, we went to a bunch of cool places, including Harley Davidson Museum. And we did a bunch of other super fun stuff. I met other kids from all over during the summer program, and we had a great time. TRIO has given me the opportunity to do lots of things that I would not have done without TRIO. TRIO has truly changed my life for the better, so I want to say thank you to all of you for allowing me to have these opportunities to go to places and do things I never would have thought of and to give me hope for my future. TRIO has made me realize that everything's possible. is from Upward Bound. Upward Bound works with high school students in developing and enhancing their academic and motivational skills so they may graduate and successfully enroll in a post-secondary educational program. The program includes a six-week summer residential program here on UND's campus. Representing the Upward Bound program today is Bryce Kringstead, a senior from Grafton High School who plans to attend UND in fall 2024. Bryce Kringstead. I'm currently a senior at Grafton High School, uh, planning on, on attending here at UND. Um, I was asked to share a few of my personal experiences from Upper Bound with you all today. Um, well, I've been in Upper Bound for about three and a half years, just miss missing the reason why we can't take elevators in UB anymore. But I still have a lot of experiences regardless, most of which I would have never had otherwise. But to keep this as short as possible, because I love to talk, I'm going to share just one of my favorite memories with you all today. Now, I had a really, really hard time trying to pick just one, but this is one that I love to share. Some of you have heard this before, but I'll share it regardless. For a little context, imagine a warm June night. We were in our nightly groups in the dorms, and those are completely different every single night. Most nights we group together in journal, or just talk about the day before or the day even ahead. But this particular week, our RTA decided that we could choose what we wanted to do for one night. 
On this particular night, a Mario Kart tournament was chosen. Who here has played Mario Kart? And who here knows the temptation to throw that green shell and ruin that relationship? <laughs> <laughs> These are all jokes, of course, but that's not what happened this time. Just this past summer, one of my best friends, Terry, was racing somebody else. She was doing so well, in second place, about to overcome first and win the race. She was so close to finishing, and then she starts joking around about how she's doing really well in the race. And then a little bit more, and a little bit more. And then we all start to get very, very confused. And it goes on for a little bit. But then we decide to tell her what we knew, but apparently she did not. She was, in fact, not the person on the top part of the screen. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, on the bottom part of the screen, she was running into a wall and turned around multiple times by that cloud thing and hadn't even finished the first lap. The pure horror that came across her face next was priceless. Let's just say it was a long time to wait to finish that race. <laughs> but Terry and I still joke about it to this day. Now, this may not be the most relatable or the funniest dream thing, really, but I realized something that, I, that I've never forgotten. Upward Bound has led me to some of my best friends. And all the new experiences and fun times that I've had with them. Even through every single other memory that I've had from UP. For example, the infamous Nerf gun battle, the drones class that was a part of this past summer, or even all the times I've fallen asleep. I still realize how important all of these memories are to me, especially being able to spend time with some of my best friends and all the experiences that have been life-changing. I appreciate all of them. Without this program, I don't know where I'd be. Thank you, Phil, Heidi, and literally everyone else who makes this program run as smoothly as possible. I know juggling multiple plates on a tightrope is quite challenging, and somehow you guys managed to do it. So thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your time. And have a great rest of your Valentine's Day. Our next speaker is from my program, the Educational Opportunity Center. The goal of the Educational Opportunity Center is to increase the number of adults, high school students, and veterans who enroll in post-secondary education institutions. They help individuals with academic potential to become enrolled in the college of their choice. Representing the EOC program is Erin Kunda Adele from Minnesota State University, Moorhead. <clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Erin Kunda Panina Adele. Um, before I share my story, I want to thank Lori Masson for choosing me as a guest speaker. Um, Lori Madison has helped me a lot with um, filling out my financial aid. My parents are immigrants, so I had a lot of troubles like filling out my financial aid, so Lori Madison was able to help me, so I'm very grateful because of her help. I was able to attend my college and um, basically go to school without having any, like, to pay anything. Um, I was born in a refugee camp in Tanzania. My parents fled from Burundi um, because of the war going on. They found refuge in Congo, only to be met with another war. Um, the relentless spirit and courage led us to Tanzania and eventually to America. I was seven years old when I arrived to America with my family. Arriving to America just at the age of seven, I was welcomed by a new place, one filled with um, challenges and opportunities. Growing up in a big family with six sisters and two brothers, I learned the value of community and support. As an aunt to 60 nieces and two nephews, I have found joy and inspiration in their curiosity and growth. I graduated from Shanghai School in 2019. In 2023, I graduated from M State with my degree in criminal justice. After graduation, I attended the police academy with Lake Region. And right now, I currently serve as a police officer with the Minnesota Police Department, where I am committed to protecting and serving my community. Um, last week on Monday, I was sworn in as a four-time police officer, so now I'm currently on my own and patrolling the community. <laughs> um, the pursuit of knowledge never stops. So while working four-time as a police officer, I'm also furthering my education at MSUM, working towards getting my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. 
It is a balance between serving a community and hitting the books right after work, but it is one that teaches resilience and the power of setting goals. As someone who was not always on a straight and narrow path, I know firsthand that it's never too late to change your life around. Growing up, I often found myself in trouble, getting into fights and facing the kind of challenges that could easily derail a future. But it is those, but it is those troubles that inspire me to pursue a career in law enforcement. I wanted to be able to help others who might be struggling. I wanted to be a source of guidance and support for those who feel like they're not going in the right path. And I wanted to serve the community that welcomed my family and I 15 years ago. My past is not a shadow that I try to hide from. Instead, my past motivates me to be better every day and to make a positive impact on the lives of others. So to anyone who feels like it's too late to change, it's not. Your past does not define you. Your actions today and your commitment to a better tomorrow is what support is what shapes your future. And remember, education is a journey, not a destination. It's about growing, not just knowledge, but in character. It's about becoming someone who can make a positive um, difference just as you all can. Thank you for allowing me to share my story with you guys. I hope it serves as a reminder that no matter where you start, with hard work, you can go anywhere. We have a speaker from Student Support Services. The Student Support Services program works with current UND students to help them succeed and graduate with their first bachelor's degree. The program provides academic and personal support to help students develop strategies to accomplish their educational goals and to graduate. Representing the Student Support Services program is Flora Brown. student here at the University of North Dakota studying kinesiology. I was born and raised in the Twin Cities and both of my parents are immigrants with my mom being from Malawi and my father being from Jamaica. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about barriers and share a little bit about my college experience. For the, for the sense of this essay, I don't mean literal physical barriers, but obstacles in life. Something that stops one from growth, whether that growth is spiritually, physically, professionally, and more. Barriers can be both emotional and physical and it can stand in the way of one's setting and achieving goals and one's success. Throughout my life, I had to overcome some barriers. And to go through all those barriers and all those stories would be a long time. But we're gonna focus on college. When I decided on UND, it was, um, it was a great decision. It was like a dream, but I didn't know anything about college, the cost, what it's like, resources, or anything of that source. sort. When I came to school, no, about a week before coming to school, I kind of just thought you get a loan and you just pay for everything. And about two days before coming to school, I basically just gave up on a whole hope of going to college because of the fact that I tried getting loans and I couldn't get any loans even with cosigners. But little did I know my mom was still fighting in the background. The day before moving day, my mom ended up getting an email and she came into my room and she's like, we're still gonna do it, we're going to do it. Tomorrow we're still moving in. When we moved in, I had a meeting with Matt Luke Cash, the director of student finances, the very first person I met on campus. When I had already gave up, she was working. When I got here, I felt estranged. I was one of the only people of color, and everyone around me seemed to be very wealthy. I fell into a depression, and it led to me not doing well in classes, and it led to me wanting to drop out. But I kept going because my mom fought so hard, and my mom, my dad, my stepmom, stepdad, my siblings were so proud of me, and I couldn't let them down. I started utilizing my resources. Started going to Trio, working with Cheryl King Kingsbury, Derek Sporberg. Started going to Student Diversity and Inclusion, working with Stacey Barbara Peterson and Shelby King. Career Services with Daniel Schindel. Student Affairs with Dr. Art Malloy and Dr. Alex Popernowski. The Counseling Centers and Advisors. And lastly, after I've been doing, no this is not lastly, sorry. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection and I realized that a lot of the obstacles that I have overcame in life have made me become the person that I am today and the person that I am becoming and they have made me stronger. If you take any way, anything away from this, 
Utilize your resources and remember that life is not a race, it's you versus you. Growth is not always comfortable, and no matter what, do not give, bit, give up and dream big. Thank you very much. is from our McNair program. The McNair post Baccalaureate Achievement Program works with college undergraduates to prepare them for graduate studies leading to a PhD. Participants work with faculty members and encourage and engage in research vital to success at the doctoral level. Representing the McNair program is Caitlin Hazel, a recent UN graduate from the psychology department. graduate of UND. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I would be standing in front of all of you today. I'm originally from the Twin Cities area. I grew up in a low-income household and neither of my parents earned a college degree. Throughout my childhood, my mom always encouraged me to pursue a college education. Starting in middle school, I worked hard with the end goal of going to college. Furthering my education was important to me because I wanted to have more opportunities and resources that were previously unavailable to other members of my family. I started college here at UND during the 2020 pandemic. When I got to college, I realized that I had achieved my long-term goal and was unsure of how to proceed. I was in a new state with no friends trying to navigate the higher education world. A couple of weeks into the semester, I also realized I did not have enough financial aid to cover my tuition. I started out as a biology pre-med student, and it did not take me long to realize I was not studying something I enjoyed. I managed to figure out both of those problems. <laughs> um, after my first semester, I decided to pursue something that I was passionate about and switch my major to psychology. During my second year, I was fortunate enough to have a professor pull me aside and ask if I had ever heard of the McNair program. The few extra minutes she took to speak with me individually had a profound impact on my life. Soon after, I was admitted into the program and no longer had to navigate my journey alone. I had Kelly Kennedy as my McNair mentor and several faculty research mentors who provided me with support, encouragement, and wisdom. The McNair program helped me get involved in undergraduate research, which I did not even know existed before I was in the program. This was an incredibly valuable experience for graduate school and the program also informed me about the graduate school admissions process. They even sent me to a graduate school boot camp. <laughs> Being in the McNair Scholars Program provided me with more opportunities, experiences, connections, and knowledge than I could possibly share today in this speech. Um, I lost my spot. Um, yeah. With the support of my mentors and family, along with a lot of hard work, I was able to graduate with my Bachelor's of Science degree last December. As I walked across the stage, it felt like my mom was by my side as she had been cheering me on since the very beginning of my journey. As I wrap up my speech here today, I wanted to leave the students in the room with a few pieces of advice. I would like to share three things that I wish someone had told me when I first started at UND. First, don't do it alone. Navigating your educational journey can be difficult, there are so many resources available to you on campus, including TRIO programs. The faculty and staff on campus want to help you succeed, and having mentors in your life is so important. Also, there are so many student organizations you can join and make new friends. Second, you will face obstacles in your journey, and that is perfectly normal. Take them in stride, and have faith that you will accomplish your goals. Remember that if you are having a hard time with something, or need advice, there's probably someone on campus who can help you. Lastly, do not compare your journey to other people's journeys. We all have our unique paths, and that's what makes each one of us special. Remember all the things that you've accomplished, and so far, and focus on the things that you need to do to reach your goals. So, to all the students in the room, I urge you, embrace the journey, lean on your support system, and never lose sight of the incredible potential within you. As you navigate the road ahead, you may find inspiration in your own resilience and courage knowing that each step forward brings you closer to your goals. Thank you.
Please join me in one more round of applause for all of our student speakers to date. Their success is truly Out of the 3,100 TRIO programs nationally, UND's TRIO programs are the longest continually running TRIO programs in the United States. We hope you will join us again next year for our annual TRIO Day Luncheon. Once again, thank you for being here. Your support and involvement in our programs is greatly appreciated.